Hi YouTube, M6EB here, back again with another video. Uh, today I want to do a review on the Alinco DR150 VHF mobile FM radio. Um, big shout out to Wayne G0HIJ for lending me this radio for the review. Um, I'm awaiting my Retivis RT95. That review will be coming in probably a couple of weeks, so stay tuned for that as well. Um, so yeah really really impressed with it you know first impressions with it being a Linko it wasn't a Kenwood a Yesu an Icon I really didn't know what to expect so uh, when Wayne lent it me and I got it home and I, I set it up I, I was really really impressed um, you know the, the quality of it is really good you wouldn't you know I'd, I'd think it was an Icon Kenwood I'm not saying a Linko is bad I mean I just haven't had an experience personally um, so yeah plugged it in uh, put the antenna in um, and then I was I was flicking through the bands, uh, well bands, I would say band because it's only VHF. I was flicking through the frequencies and um, there was a SOTA station on. So I, I made sure I was on the lowest power setting, I think that's 10 watts, so obviously perfect for foundation holders. Uh, transmitted, said, oh, you know, M6EB calling in. Uh, and the, the guy said uh, it was a brilliant report, he said it sounded really good, um, I, I can't remember exactly where the, where the station was but it was a good fair distance away um, and yeah it was, it was great, you know really really happy with it really. So anyway I'll do a close up on the, on the, uh, the radio so you can see um, a close up, we'll have a look round it, we'll have a quick look at some of the, the settings and, uh, and we'll go from there. Right so let's have a quick close up on the radio now and have a good look round it. So this is obviously the front of the radio. A nice yellowy LCD display, nothing unusual there. Uh, all the buttons are backlit. Uh, all you know, you can even the squelch button and the volume button uh, knob um, are lit up as well. Um, this is the microphone. Uh, microphone is really really nice. I really like that. We've got a lock for the uh, microphone, so you can lock the keypad, so you can't accidentally use it. You also have a, a DTMF lock um, as well, and you're on, on top of the radio we have an up and down button so we can change the the frequency or channel etc um, and that's really basically it for the microphone it uses the old uh, 8 pin style connector um, so we'll just disconnect that now so we don't uh, accidentally transmit as I've no uh, antenna in at the moment just put this down here so yeah, so basically this is the, the front of the radio so this is not a menu driven radio, all the bottom buttons here have a dual purpose so for example um, if we went into uh, memory mode like this and we press scan it will then scan through the channels but obviously if we press function then it will use it can go on skip which is its dual function so we we'll press function again and then it's skip instead of scan so every one of these buttons has a dual purpose Another thing I really like about this radio is it has a uh, squelch and volume knob. A lot of the modern radios have um, menu driven volume and squelch controls and I really don't like that. I really like the way that this you can just use a knob like the old way. That's the best way in my opinion. So I really like that about that. Um, it's got a push button on and off like that. Uh, no problem at all. Everything lights up, all the buttons light up very nicely at night. Uh, as you saw the microphone lights up as well um, there's three power um, levels on this radio there's high which is 50 watts medium power which is 25 watts and low power which is 10 watts so if you're a foundation holder like myself then obviously use it on the low power setting as you can see the little L at the bottom there uh, you change the power level here um, so yeah it's, 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 it's a nice little radio one downside is it doesn't have a cooling fan uh, you know like some radios have a, a cooling fan on them um, so if you were using uh, the full 50 watts it's probably going to get quite hot quite quick um, but for 10 watts is what I use it's, I don't find it gets warm at all we have a top firing uh, speaker here and it absolutely sounds amazing really crisp really clear really loud no problems there at all so if you're using this in a vehicle or a caravan then you're really not going to be disappointed with that speaker um, so that's really a good point uh, it's quite a small radio as well you know if we look at the side of it um, it's it's really not not a big radio at all so if we I don't know if we put my uh, Retivis RT84 next to it you can see that it's not it's not very big it's you know it's about the same sort of well it's a bit a little bit longer than the RT uh, 
84 so check my, the link in the description for the uh, the review on that radio and obviously there's uh, a review on the Alien HD one as well so check the, the uh, links in the description um, but yeah really nice little small form factor all made of metal um, you know really good quality um, cooling fins on the back um, but obviously no fan um, this uh, one thing I do quite like about this is it's um, you don't put your antenna directly here um, it's got like a little um, uh, wire and you put your antenna there so if you bury this uh, unit in the car somewhere uh, keep it nice and tidy and you want to change the antenna you can just quickly change it like that without having to sort of get to the main unit so that's quite a nice feature um, so yeah I'm really really impressed with it it's it's a re really really nice radio um, so yeah there, there we go we've had a good look at the uh, the close-up of the radio thank you very much for watching I much appreciate it it really means a lot to me that you've uh, you, you know to everybody who subscribed we're over 700 subscribers now so thank you very much for that um, my conclusion on the radio is if you can get it cheap on on eBay then I would highly recommend you go for it um, it, with it being only VHF is its only downside really um, it would be great if it was a dual band but you know we can't have everything um, as a VHF radio it's absolutely brilliant no frills does what it says on the tin uh, highly recommend it so uh, yeah please like comment and subscribe for more videos don't forget to put the bell notification on for more videos and um, till the next time 73